pages and added as many pages as you wanted to your presentation. The next step that's really important um, is to add components. So these are different items that you've added to these particular pages to showcase your best work. That's the whole purpose of these adding components. And you can actually add various components and that are free form in nature and not ones that you've actually uploaded to your ePortfolio. So I'm going to click on the Reports tab on the nav bar, click ePortfolio, and I want to click on my presentation. If you're not sure, you, if you don't see it in the list there, the easiest thing to do is go to My Items and then click on Presentations on the filter by to be able to see them. Click on the context menu, which is the little arrow next to the presentation, and click Edit. Click on the Content and Layout tab. And what you want to do is click in on the name of the, pre, of the page you want to add components. It's already going to be defaulted for the first page there, but if you wanted to add, click on another one, you can. And then click on Add the Component button. Here you're going to be able to add the following. Artifacts, which is the first item. Those are things that you've uploaded to your ePortfolio. The second one is Collections, which is a group of artifacts. The next one is Reflections, so if you did any Reflections. The text area is just an area that you create something in, and you can also add information from your profile. So you click on the type of uh, components you wish to add. So for this tutorial, let's just choose Artifacts. What's going to happen is you're going to see a listing of all of the artifacts that you've uploaded to your ePortfolio, and you're going to click on the checkbox or checkboxes next to the items that you want to add. And you can add more than one. Then you're going to click on Add. What's going to happen in that particular case when you click on the Add button is you're going to see the components added to the page that you're on, that you're working on. Now you can click on the green arrows right here to move these up and down within the page if you wish. And you can always click on the View Presentation um, by clicking the View Presentation link. This provides you an idea of what your presentation is going to look like. So here you can see the two things that you've added and this one happens to be a link to, to a web page or to a YouTube video. Now one of the other things you can do is that if you click on the little context menu, the little arrow, next to the individual components and click Edit Display Options, there are some different things that you can do in these edit display options. So for example you can change the title to make the title more uh, descriptive. You can also, uh, and again it depends, you can also maybe change the appearance whether it appears uh, as a link or in place um, on the page. So for images for example these two choices would be there. You can also add a description if you wish to be able to make it something more useful. And I can click on save and you can repeat this for each individual item and again depending on the item as you can see this item I can display as a link only or display as an artifact on the page and again I can change the title if I want and then I click save. Now the other thing that's kinda neat is if I go to add component and click on text area what this allows you to do is to create an area of text using the HTML editor that isn't necessarily something that you had uploaded. And you can type in here, you can then use the HTML editor, you can highlight stuff, you can make a bold, you can change the size, and so on. And then click Save and Close. And again, if you view the presentation, you can see that that's what shows up with, on that particular page. So Adding the components is a very important part of this whole presentation because it allows you to add the best work uh, and most professional work that you've done to be able to showcase it and give it out and share with others. When you're all done, click the close and it'll take you back to your list of artifacts.